The Thief in the Night is back. 30 years ago, Ronald Reagan gave inflation a name, The Thief in the Night. Now this stealthy crook is out to steal 10% of your wealth this year, and 50% by 2018. Keep listening to learn how to protect yourself from the master thief out to rob half of your buying power in the next five years. The warning lights are flashing on our financial dashboard, signaling that we have entered the dangerous era of preflation. What is preflation? It's the steady run-up of what will likely be 1970s-style double-digit inflation all over again. In this current period of preflation, you're robbed of your wealth every hour of every day. It probably won't surprise you to discover that your money's buying power is being stolen while you sleep, eat, commute, and work. It doesn't matter how smart an investor you are, your wealth is in imminent danger. Inflation invades like a cat burglar, so quiet you barely notice, until you realize half your buying power has vanished in less than five years. It's happening right now, and it's just the beginning. Soon, thousands of investors will look back and wonder, why didn't I recognize the blatant theft of my wealth while it happened right in front of me? Here's the four indicators of inflation. My name is Phil Ash. I'm the president of Investing Daily and the publisher of a family of award-winning investing advisory newsletters, including Personal Finance, The Energy Strategist, and Utility Forecaster. For 40 years, we've helped readers like you protect their wealth, no matter what shape the economy is in. There are four indicators flashing red today, warning us of an inflationary surge. These indicators are the classic predictors of soaring inflation. In fact, they've preceded numerous bouts of hyperinflation in the past century. They are, number one, persistent global unrest and multiple ongoing wars. Number two, intense international competition for critical commodities. Number three, massive government spending. And number four, continuing currency debasement. In the U.S., we call this QE1, 2, and 3. I suspect these conditions have a familiar ring, and they don't bode well for you. Ultimately, should these conditions persist, as I believe they will, many folks will find themselves running out of money. That's why I'm here to tell you, you can protect your wealth. The path to inflation is not straight. There are stops and starts that will challenge investors' confidence. Renowned and respected Wall Street analyst and Investing Daily editor Benjamin Shepard has seen the signs and studied the indicators and believes we are in a precarious state of preflation. He has launched what I believe is the most timely investment advisory in 30 years, the Inflation Survival Letter. The time to protect your wealth is now, before that thief in the night, inflation, takes everything. You can't stop inflation, but you can manage your investments in such a way as to spare yourself from helplessly watching your money disappear. With the right knowledge and strategies found in Inflation Survival Letter, you can protect your wealth and even earn double-digit profits no matter what happens to the U.S. economy. Don't look for headlines warning that inflation is back. Rather, there will be an awful awakening one day down the road when millions of investors realize that inflation, drip by drip, has drained away their wealth. Here's the problem with the CPI. At this very moment, millions of Americans are expecting a rich retirement, unaware that the buying power of their nest egg is melting away. Take the retired small business owner who believes his hard-won nest egg of $400,000 will actually be worth $400,000 in buying power. In fact, it's losing almost 10% of its value this year and is likely to be worth 50% less in five years. A soon-to-be-retired couple would be stunned to discover the income from their $1 million portfolio will buy only half as much before the decade's over. Today's real inflation rate is closer to 10%, a staggering 422% higher than the official number the government acknowledges. 
Here are the facts. The official inflation rate, according to the government, is 1.8%. But the real inflation rate is actually 9.4%, more than five times higher. The official inflation rate, known as the Core Consumer Price Index, CPI, is concocted and issued by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, BLS. The latest BLS release puts the core CPI at just 1.8%. That's quite low by historical standards. However, there are strong reasons why you should regard this number with extreme skepticism. If the rate of inflation were still calculated the way it was back in 1980, it would be a staggering 9.4%, and angry citizens would storm Washington with pitchforks. Here's a graph that reveals the truth. Note, the red line indicates inflation as calculated by the formula the BLS used in 1980. The blue line represents today's formula. As you can see, inflation surges during the Ford and Carter administrations, then drops sharply during the Reagan years, with the U.S. enjoying the longest economic boom in its history. However, when Reagan departs the White House, Real inflation, the red line, begins its steady rise again, but the official CPI version, the blue line, remains curiously lower than the red line. The game wasn't always rigged this way. Originally, the CPI was determined by comparing the price of a fixed basket of goods and services at two points in time, so there was no way to fudge it. But now, if the price of steak goes up and people eat tofu instead, the BLS reduces the weight of stake prices in the CPI formula. Voila, less inflation. The gas pump isn't lying. You know you pay more now for gasoline, food, clothing, rent, etc. than you ever did in the past. You live in the real world. The signs and effects of inflation are all around you. Just five years ago, the average price of gasoline was $1.84 a gallon. Today, Gas costs about $3.60, up over 95%. But gasoline, which is energy-related, isn't calculated into the core CPI. Nor is the 42% more you're paying for electricity since 2002. Like the proverbial tree that falls unheard in a forest, if a price increase isn't counted in the CPI, it never happened. At least, according to the government. Are you paying for a child's or grandchild's college education? Since 1986, the cost has risen a mind-boggling 598%. Since 2002, you pay 26% more for milk, 73% more for eggs, 90% more for coffee, 39% more for a loaf of bread, 56% more for turkey, 44% more for spaghetti, 143% more for margarine, 61% more for ground beef. The average increase over the past 11 years for each of these everyday items, 48.3%. And that's just for supermarket staples. What about something big, like healthcare? Since 2002, healthcare costs have more than doubled for American families, according to the independent Milliman Medical Index. As of 2011, counting both employee and employer's contributions, the total health care costs for a family of four soared to over 19000 per year, up more than $10,000 in just nine years. This has already placed a huge burden on both employers and workers, but it may become worse, far worse. The Retirement Wrecker If you've never invested when inflation is high, it's a house of horrors. Just ask anyone who tried it in the 1970s. Most of your stock gains will be steadily washed away, like castles in the sand. If you're retired and depend on the income your investments throw off, inflation could decimate your lifestyle. That's no exaggeration, just fifth grade arithmetic. Today's 9.4% real inflation rate makes mincemeat of the pathetic returns on treasuries, CDs, and money market accounts. It even wipes out, if you're lucky enough to have them, 
solid 4%, 6%, and 8% dividends on high-yielding stocks. Imagine you're retired with a nest egg of $750,000. let us say you earn about 4% on your money. That's $30,000 of income per year you can take out without touching your principal. And it's crucial to maintaining your standard of living, right? The bad news is that even at the government's phony 1.8% inflation rate, that $30,000 is actually worth only $29,460 when you spend it at the end of the year. And it will dwindle to $25,017 just 10 years from now. Remember, real inflation, the one that knows you need gas to drive your car and doesn't expect you to eat tofu, is calculated using the BLS's own 1980 formula is 9.4%, meaning your money's buying power is shrinking five times faster than the government admits. One thing you can say for inflation, it doesn't discriminate. It's an equal opportunity dream destroyer. Inflation ravages everyone, rich or poor. Let's say you've done well. Your nest egg is worth $1 million. Did you know that every single percentage point rise in inflation rips $10,000 from your real wealth and continues ripping you off year after year? Imagine what would happen to your personal standard of living if official inflation jumped by five, six, or even seven points and real inflation reached double digits. Yes, it's an ugly picture, but frighteningly possible. After all, official inflation hit 15% under Carter in 1980. Who says it can't happen again? especially with the Fed's multiple rounds of quantitative easing, which printed money by the truckload. The reality is that fiat currencies always fail eventually, for one simple reason. Governments overspend and overpromise. The message is clear. It's time for a strong anti-inflation defense perimeter around your nest egg. Here's how to build an inflation-proof portfolio. Given the historic level of government debt and massive printing of debased dollars, I give us a 50% chance of entering hyperinflation in the next five years. Remember, those key indicators I mentioned? Persistent conflict, intense global competition for commodities, massive government spending, and relentless Federal Reserve money printing? The longer they continue, the closer we get to hyperinflation. Whenever the Fed even so much as hints at the end of QE and higher interest rates, the markets react violently to the downside. No one in Washington wants to take the blame for derailing the economy again. Note also, the U.S. isn't the only country aggressively stimulating its economy. Central banks the world over are running money-easing programs all of their own resulting in even more liquidity chasing for those same goods and services. The classic runaway inflation environment. The question remains, what to do about it? America's last long period of high inflation was in the 1970s, four decades ago. The era of disco, leisure suits, and double-digit inflation is a distant memory to most financial advisors. Many financial advisors working today weren't even alive when President Ford handed out whip inflation now buttons and Jimmy Carter set price controls on oil and gas. But we were. We've been there and thrived. Investing Daily was there before. We actually protected investors and earned big gains in an economic environment virtually identical to what lies ahead. From 1974 to 1980, we helped investors navigate the notoriously treacherous stagflation years when inflation soared as high as 15%, interest rates skyrocketed to an astounding 13%, mortgage rates topped 16%, and the U.S. dollar lost 21% of its value. As the 1980s began and that thief of inflation disappeared, we launched the advisory service as personal finance and became one of the largest, most trusted financial newsletters in the world. 
smart strategies to grow your wealth as you guard it. As counterintuitive as it may seem, inflation actually hands you an opportunity to increase your wealth if you have the right tools and knowledge. Indeed, the team at Inflation Survival Letter will not only offer you a selection of inflation-proof options to protect your wealth, but also share with you solid investments that are leveraged to inflation and will rise faster than inflation, thus increasing your wealth. Should you seek refuge in cash? Not in these unusual times. With real inflation approaching 10%, cash equivalents like T-bills and money market funds don't yield nearly enough to keep up. Do the math. How do the 1% to 3% returns typical of today's cash equivalents fare versus 9.4% real inflation? It's a mismatch. Inflation wins in a knockout. What about stocks? Rising inflation will take a toll on most stocks. While corporate profits tend to track inflation higher, stock prices don't follow suit because P.E. ratios tend to drop. During the 1970s, the S&P rose an average of 4.4% a year, but inflation averaged 7.3%. Even factoring in dividends, stock owners lost 26% of their principal value over the decade. What about tips? You've no doubt heard a lot of chatter about tips. Treasury Inflated Protected Securities. Tips come with the guarantee their face value increases with inflation. Sounds good. However, tips are tied to the core or official CPI, which can't be trusted. Tips recognize inflation as 1.8% and pay accordingly, while the true inflation rate gnaws away at your income at a whopping 9.4%. What about gold? Gold peaked in 2011 after investors flocked to it in the panicky years after the crash of 2008. Now that most folks no longer feel financial Armageddon breathing down their necks, money is flowing out of gold. You'll find more ways to fight the thief in the night in the inflation survival letter. You can survive and thrive in inflation. Our monthly inflation survival letter holdings are divided into two portfolios, Survive and Thrive. Read, review, and follow our portfolio picks each month and decide which opportunities are best for you. The Survive portfolio is tailored for investors in or near retirement who, while desiring some capital gains, are primarily concerned with current income and capital preservation. As a result, the portfolio focuses on more conservative investments, reducing the potential for losses. The Thrive portfolio is primarily geared towards investors with longer time horizons who are less risk averse. While wages have largely lagged behind the pace of inflation in recent years, earning a potentially rising income is not only an inflation hedge in and of itself, it also allows time to make up for any losses. Combined, these portfolios give you an amazing opportunity to not only protect your wealth, but also to increase it in this approaching financial disruption. Subscribe to the Inflation Survival Letter today. Here's what you will get with your one year at $60 or two year at $80 subscription to Inflation Survival Letter. Two stock recommendations each month. Every month you'll receive Benjamin Shepard's top two stock picks. One pick will have strong inflation-fighting attributes. The other will have defensive qualities plus solid growth potential. You will also receive full analysis supporting the recommendation and step-by-step -step guidance on how to take best advantage. 24-7 Flash Alert Emails Today's markets change on a dime. You'll keep on top of it all with up-to-the-minute advice on shifting markets, fluctuating earnings, and developing political storms that could affect your holdings. Weekly e-letter. You'll also receive Survival of the Fittest, which keeps you updated on our inflationary take between issues of Inflation Survival Letter and provides news, 
insight, and analysis on our portfolio holdings. Unlimited website access. Charter subscribers have access to the Inflation Survival Letter website. Here you'll find exclusive analysis, comprehensive portfolio data tables, and research reports you can't get anywhere else. Personal help and attention. Anytime you have a question regarding a stock recommendation or article, send us an email. You'll hear back. Guaranteed. You can also post your questions and comments on the members-only discussion board. It won't be long before you can divide investors into two distinct groups. Those who prepared for the dollar damage that high inflation inflicts, and those who never saw it coming. You don't have to be among the latter, nor should you. Don't miss this opportunity to gain the tools and knowledge you need to thwart the thief in the night. You can begin your subscription today for just $60 for two years, or $39 for one year. If, after you receive the Inflation Survival Letter, you decide for any reason that it isn't for you, contact us and we'll send you your money back, 100%. Every issue and report you receive is yours to keep. This way, you take no chances. All the risk is on us, as it should be. Inflation relentlessly steals wealth, regardless of investor age or experience. No one is immune, except those who defend their money. As I said at the beginning, your money's buying power is being stolen while you work, play, and even while you sleep. Stop the thief. Try Inflation Survival Letter right here. Yours for investing success, Philip Ash, publisher and CEO of Investing Daily. Thank you so much for listening. Now please, don't be a victim of the thief in the night. Subscribe to the Inflation Survival Letter today.